municipality in charge of ICT. So now we have the political, uh, the political support for this program or for all the activities. Then we implement. Uh, I mean, we we um, had a, a better uh, installation of internet in all the municipality. When I, when we started, we had only three people connect to internet, and now we have almost uh, 30 people uh, connected with the internet. And also, we create a, a MUNET team. I mean, a team that is a that is. A, I mean, we have the secretary of the municipality, people of the finance of the municipality, the public relations, the advisor. Uh, the, the assistant of the major, so it's a multidisciplinary team that gives all the information to support this program. Also, uh, we give uh, free internet access to the community. As you can see on that picture, this is a, this is a conference on Skype that people from Patsun is, is talking with his son that is immigrant in Manhattan, he, was, he works in Lenin's. And I mean, they, they communicate by internet with this service that offers the municipality. Also, we create or we install a, a community digital center with uh, 35 computers. So we understood that uh, we can have a very good strategy for e-government, but if people in Basur doesn't know how to go into how to go to internet, it's not going to work. So we create this community digital center and we give uh, free courses of uh, Windows or many other uh, office tools in other people to, to learn about this. And also, we, we are working on a language, uh, I mean, we are promoting a Kachikel, this is the indigenous language in Guatemala, in this side of Guatemala, and we are creating the Wikipedia in Kachikel to preserve this language uh, all around the world. Also, uh, we create our uh, website, government website, uh, it, this is in, in Joomla. We are using Joomla for all the websites of the MUNET program. Uh, in this uh, website, we have almost uh, 500 documents in PDF. So you are talking all about open data. We are trying to do open data as, as we can and as we understand, but we are publishing all the information of, of we do it in, the, in this municipality uh, through the website. Also, we create our, our own social media strategy. We have almost 480 videos selected uh, on different channels, so we, we inform about everything of the municipality on this video channel. Also, pictures in, in Picasa, uh, we just started in June with Facebook, and all our information, the website and all these media uh, tools, are on Creative Commons, because we understand that this information is free, this information can be developed to everybody who needs it, so we put it on the on the Creative Commons. Uh, and also, uh, we are we can do this alone. I mean, when we start uh, seven years ago with the OES, with the Moonlit program, we have uh, received a lot of help from them. But now we, we are working with the Senafit, Secretaria, the National Secretary of, of Science and Technology, and also with the IRI, International Republican Institute from the United States. That is, is, is helping Guatemala and other countries in Central America to develop e-government strategies. So we thank for them to continue helping and, and give us an accessory. Which are the challenges that we have? Well, the main challenges are, for example, the resources. We don't have many resources to do these things. Most of those tools are free, as you can know. But um, with very small things, we create a big impact so we can convince the authorities to give us as less as a little money just to, to try to do another thing. No? Another important uh, challenge is, uh, for example, changing the staff. Uh, municipalities in, in Guatemala, they change very usually people working there. But the new mayor we have since January, he took with him a very a, a, a young team, so young team that use Facebook, YouTube, and so on. So it's very easy to, to I mean, to put them in the Monet team in order to support those tools with the information they can provide. Um, and well, and also a lack of strategy to the bridge digital device that we are doing any other things in, in Patsun, or a lack of awareness about the potential of ICT. We have to convince the authorities. With, uh, well, with uh, the opportunity that using ICT for a small municipality, we will develop a better communication between authorities and the citizens. 
which are the lessons learned. Well, we can see here, the, the one on the left is the governor of the parliament, and the one on the right is our major, Mardoqueo Gancas, he's indigenous also. Uh, well, one of the lessons that we learned is the, the strategy uh, of the digital device, we have to implement it. I mean, we, we cannot do uh, a good things on e-government if, if we don't have clear our ideas. So first thing is to prepare a strategy and then implement step by step this strategy with the help of institutions or, or with the help of the national organizations in, in Guatemala. Uh, another thing that I think is important is the communication. Communication inside the municipality and communication outside. I mean, uh, from municipality we, uh, through to the uh, citizens. Continuous training with, the, with our team in the municipality uh, also, the, I mean, the awareness that people, uh, when they set up, when, we, when, when they don't the, the, this course of big government in, in Patrun, all the awareness obtained in this course is essential just to continue this e government program. And also the methodological approach. As Diego says, we cannot do this without a line that we have to continue. So the first one, the, the first was to obtain the, 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 I mean, the credibility of the authorities, then create the team, teach the team, uh, install the tools, and then spread those information and all the tools and everything we do to all around the world, as we do here, for example, in this kind of meetings. Just to say that Patsun now is not in the middle of Guatemala, Patsun is in the world, as Albany or as many other places and any other countries. And lesson learned of, of MUNED, I think that one of the main ones is the, the program planning. I mean, MUNED has this methodology of this strategy, so it's just to, to put it in, in, in practice. Also the training, the continued training of, of the people working on, on this program. The technology is not the only solution, but it helps us uh, just to, to do and to implement this, uh, this program. Absolutely, the political management. Why would we, we say this? Because if we don't have uh, the, I mean, as we saw uh, Maria Isabel from uh, Colombia, if we don't have the credibility or the, or the effort that puts the authorities on these kind of programs, they are not going to work. So we don't have, we do, first thing, we need, we need to convince those authorities in order to put in, in, in practice this program, also the ICT, and the sustainability of the, of the program. Uh, that we, we obtain with, I mean, with the low resources that we have, but also with the capacity or with the help, with the help that we have from uh, uh, any other organizations. And that's, uh, that's all. Because I have, all, uh, I have all another three minutes, I think, I'm just going to put something here that I would like to show you. This is one of those videos that I am talking to. This video was taken uh, she's a woman in Patsun, she's, she's doing something with a stone, uh, we call it like a stone table. She's preparing corn and bean, is the black one, and bean, tayuyo it's called. And uh, those, they're talking in Kachikel, this is the Maya language in Guatemala. One what, what we do with this kind of videos is just to collect our costumes and um, the main uh, work that we and women like this are doing there and then promote them through the, our channel videos in, in YouTube. So this is another thing to, to conserve these cultural uh, activities that probably in 5 or 10 years will disappear. Well, that's all. Thank you very much. I don't know if you have any questions or doubts or whatever you, you want or you want to know about what we're doing. Thank you, Pablo.